So on a 72 camper special from California, we have the Coyote engine and 6R80 trans is already um, mocked into place. We had to get stripping this Durango down. It's another Hemi Durango. And uh, what do you think of those? <laughs> I just wanted to get them out of the way or something. But anyway, so where we're at with this one, this engine and trans right now is just mocked up into the bay. It's not sitting on anything, as you can see. Um, these came out of the Mustang specifically. They're not going to work in here because you just don't have the clearance to make these work. So I'm taking these out and then we'll be able to position this engine in and down to where it's supposed to go. Um, and we're going to keep the stock front suspension of these. There's plenty of room in here when you do this. Now in the Mustang, we have to relocate the oil filter because it will hit. Uh, there's two ways you can do it. You can go forward or you can do that MMR plate that relocates the filter up to a magic place, but it's a little more expensive. So that's where this one's at right now. I have to fab the trans mount um, and I have to fab these mounts, but I won't do that till it's in position. So as you can see, I pulled the whole front clip off. This is way easier doing it this way. I'm sure you're wondering what in the hell is this? This is a 1941 Plymouth uh, coupe that came in from Idaho and our buddy is having me put this on the Durango chassis, which if you haven't seen, go back, take a look at some of the other videos. I've done this a bunch and it's awesome. It comes out fantastic. Now, this one isn't sitting on properly. It's sort of right way round as they put it. So uh, for today, the first thing I'm gonna do is get this up in the air and pull this Durango out. Believe it or not, it does run. So we're going to try and set this down on the chassis today. In order to set that cab down, I have to take this entire front clip apart right here in the muddy wet grass and get these pieces inside because once I turn that cab around and set it down on the chassis, I need to position it in such a way that this will clear and you only have so much room. So it's important that you have the front end ready when you mate the two together. I got to turn this thing around start eyeballing it all up. So uh, let's let's get this junk outside, huh? on this particular build so you can see what's going on now. I have the body hanging in the air obviously and I'm about to offer it up to the floor pan for the first time and I can see already that I've got to trim the front horns of this body, I've got to trim the floor pan and I definitely have to take about a foot off the frame and if you look at some of the other videos you'll see that I did this on a 1941 or something uh, Chevy two-door car. It's very similar to this Plymouth. Um, I had to chop the back of the frame off so it would fit in the trunk when I dropped the, the channeled body down on top of it. So uh, let's start cutting and see if I can get this to fit at least down where we can get an eyeball on what's up. How you doing, buddy? Hey. So I finally got the body to sit down on the chassis, but it looks like I'm going to have to move the front Durango frame supports that hold up the floor pan. No big deal. We're not making a 4x4 truck here. This isn't going to be lifted. This thing needs to be in the weeds. So that's what's going to happen next is a lot of cutting. It's pouring rain outside and everything is muggy. Um, at least it's not snow. On all the Durango swaps I've done, this is the first one 
where the front horns, I'm calling it, uh, the front piece of the cab or passenger compartment won't clear the Durango frame mounts. Like on the Jeep and the, the Studebakers and some of the other stuff I've done, this portion, when cut away, drops right down and just misses it. On this one, I gotta move these, which means I have to resupport this floor pan. I don't want to build a whole new floor pan. That's too much work. So uh, let's get to cutting. Plymouth Coupe onto a 2008 Hemi Durango. It's a lot of fun. It looks kind of cool. When I get the wheel sized right, I won't have to cut up the wheel wells too much. But overall, I'm pretty pleased with the way it fits, and I think it's going to look really cool going down the road. Now that that body is attached to that thing and I can roll it in and out, I can start to patch the floor and get the engine running, put the foot box and steering column in, and make sure that you can drive it comfortably and safely. Um, you know it's going to be light, you know it's going to be fast, just like all the other ones. It's a lot of fun seeing how I adapt each one of these to this chassis. It gets more and more interesting with each one. This one was pretty difficult, to be honest. And with that, I'm going to have to leave it here. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share everywhere you see fit. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thumbs up, thanks, and I'll see you soon.